Okay, so today we're updating the low kick battle with the top manufacturers. We've got True, we've got Sherwood, Bauer, CCM, and Blade Tech, which I'm sure a lot of you are surprised about. We're gonna get them on the ice today and see which one works best for me. Obviously, Warrior is not here. We went to two stores and neither of them had my spec. You, still don't, you don't think it's worth featuring just because of the curve? No, I don't think so. Okay. And also, this is mid kick. We're doing low kick video. So. Okay. At least people can see. You yeah. guys can see. It's, it's, yeah. We're not doing it for the sake of they're all cutting w it out. If, if it was a W28, we might have. You know, we probably would have ventured it, but it's just not fair. Because okay. instantly, I'm not going to like it because it's a different curve. Okay. And then I'm going to get hated on even more. <laughs> you can't win. No, I can't. It's not fair. <laughs> and me and Chris both decided that. If it's not the same spec as the other sticks, it's not a fair test because I'm instantly not going to be able to shoot as well of it as I am with these ones. So for that reason, Warrior is not in today's video. No hate. We tried. We tried. Right. We tried. We would have bought them like we bought the Bauer. Yeah. Before we jump in, I want you guys to rate them in the comment section and then come back and comment after you've watched the full video. We've got True PX. Sherwood Wrecker Legend, Hyperlite 2, Trigger 8, and Blade Tech. Let us know your top five low kick sticks. So getting into the ranking, we're gonna, or well, I'm gonna tell you which ones work best for me against each other. On their own video, it could be completely different, but putting all these against each other, it's not easy. It's hard to rank them from, was it five to one? But here we go. A lot of you, I think, are going to be surprised. I know which, a lot of you are going to think which one's going last, but you're actually wrong. It's not the Bauer. It's not the Bauer. It's not the Bauer. It's, not the Bauer. it's the True Hazardous PX. Why? I have had probably, what, three of these? Yeah. And they broke within three weeks. For me, that just ruins a stick. Ruins it. If a stick can't last longer than a month, there's something seriously wrong. So for that reason, the PX is last for me. And not only that, the blade's a little bit too soft for me. I feel like that's why they break a lot. All of mine broke on the blade. Here, here, the blade's too soft. And that's, that's the main reason, I think. Performance-wise? Performance-wise, release is amazing. I think it has a great shot. The same with its lower model, which I'm not gonna touch on because that's a different video. But the lower model doesn't have as soft as a blade. And that works better for me, but release is amazing. I think it has a great release. It's good slap shot, great feel, but just doesn't last long enough for me. But the, the model below did. The model below did. The model below, model below is still going. From the first week? Still going. So it's, in other words, if you're after the true PX range of sticks, go for the model below the top spec. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Just if you, that we highlight the performance. If you want one to last and still feel like a top of the range stick. Yeah. All right, from there. From there, it is going to be the Hyperlite 2. Purely for the fact of I don't like how the stick feels. It's got an unbelievable release. I said that in the last video. It's a shooter stick. It's a shooter stick. If you're not someone that stick handles and handles the puck a lot, you're someone that purely stands there and shoots, this stick is for you because, wow, has it got a good release. But for me, feels a big thing, but it lasts longer than the True, which is why it is above the True Hazardous. It hasn't broken yet, it hasn't shown any sign of getting weak, which is an improvement. The last type like, broke a lot. I went through three in about a month, which is the same as the True. And I think in the last video, that's why the Hyperlite was so far down. But this one hasn't broken yet, hasn't gone weak at all. So for that reason, it's number four. All right. You can stop hating on me now. There you go. Okay, number three. Tough one? It is a tough one, but it's going to be Sherwood. It's got a great release, great feel. It's got a bit of a weird sort of shaped shaft. It's kind of rounded which kind of, it, it sits okay in your palm, but it's just different to what I'm used to. And compared to the other two, it just doesn't have as much as a pop, if you know what I mean. Chris might have to put a subtitle, but 
What I mean is it doesn't have as good as a release as the other two. I don't feel like the stick, or sorry, not the stick. I don't feel like the puck comes off as easy with this stick as it does the other two. But it is a very, very nice stick. I don't think me and Chris have done a video on this one just yet. It's coming. If you guys want to see it, let us know and we'll make it happen. But it's worth mentioning that it's it's not like the, the element. It's a completely different construction. It is. It is completely different. It looks completely different. If you want to see us make a video on it, let us know in the comment section. But Sherwood, Wrecker, Legend is number three. Right. Top two. Top two, which I'm sure a lot of you are shocked right now because there's a stick here that, Shouldn't be there. that not many of you have even heard of. Yeah. <laughs> and for the price range, shouldn't be here. <laughs> do you really rank it as high as that? I do. It is number two. It is number two. The Blade Tech stick is number two. It is. No one's gonna believe you. No one's, I, I swear, buy one. I tell you what, buy one. If you can buy one, they're $149, something like that. Chris can pop it up somewhere and use it and then comment and comment this video because it is insane how nice this stick feels. Do you know what the weight of it is? I don't. Take a guess. Heavier or lighter than all the sticks you've just mentioned? I'm gonna go lighter. It's heavier. It's heavier. 400 grams. Wow. Okay. To be fair, I could I, sub 300. I could have called that. The, I could have called that the hyperlight was probably lighter. Yeah. But honestly, I am so shocked in this stick. When Chris handed me this stick, I was like, Oh, really? Do I have to use it? But wow, should I have shut my mouth? Because this stick is very, very nice. It has a great release, great feel. It's so easy to shoot with. Wow, that's, that's all I can say is wow. Okay, if you guys want us to touch on it more and compare it to other, other sticks, let us know. That leaves the number one. That leaves the number one. The Trigger 8 Pro. Wow, 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 wow. This stick is amazing. It's got such a nice release. It's, it's a mixture of both, it's a great shooter stick, but it's also a great feel of the puck too. So it's not only good for those people that are shooters and just stand there and take shots. It's great for every single player. And it's a low kick point stick. And it's a low kick point stick. It's insane. Honestly, I don't know what CCM are doing, but carry on because it's insane. It's insane how nice this stick feels. And you know, I'm brutally honest. If it wasn't nice, I'd say it wasn't nice, but wow. Credit to CCM because this stick has it all and can do it all. All right, so that puts us at the end of today's video. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and obviously subscribe, it helps me and Chris out. If there's any sticks or any kit you wanna see me and Chris review and get on the ice, let us know in the comments section and we'll see you in the next one. All right.